Hello, everybody, and welcome to the United Financial Freedom Agent Update and Training Call. We are so happy to have you on the call. First call for January. I have Steve Smith sitting here next to me. Say hello, happy, everybody. Steve. Happy New Year, 2020. Here we go, rolling. We are ready. All right. Well, we're excited, and we, you know, we we want to keep that same theme alive: buying America back, one family at a time. But we do have a theme for 2020, and our theme for 2020 is the 2020 kickoff call. Let's make this the biggest and best year ever. So why am I starting off with it that way? Look, we've been down a long road, starting back in 2004, to get to where we are right now today. And the numbers, Steve, I know you've been looking at the numbers, and the numbers we're seeing are outperforming what we did at you first at the same to the same amount of time. Absolutely, we're we're well ahead of where we were at the same point in time. It's amazing. It's a, truly amazing. And so we want everybody to keep their foot on the gas. Keep that idea of a buying America back, uh, one family at a time. Keep that in the forefront, heart of a servant. But I truly believe we can make this the biggest and the best year in our entire history as a company, and we are poised and ready to get that done. By the way, I have to give a big congratulations to everyone in the field that pushed at the end of December. What we saw in the last week of December were, were more deals than we could even possibly have imagined would have come in that last week. So I just want to say thank you all so much for keeping your foot on the gas and finishing 2019 strong. Let's jump into 2020. And let's start off right with our national convention. You know, one of the things that we want to be sure that we keep in mind, and we know that every week that we're going to talk about, every week we're going to talk about this just a little bit, to keep it in your mind, to keep it in the forefront of your thought, because this is the biggest event, most important event of the year. No question, no doubt. This is where uh, all the big producers are recognized, major recognition. You walk, you walked across the stage. Many of you will be there talking about the great things that you've done, that you've accomplished, and how you've done it. And people will get to see who our true great leaders are. This is the event of the year. You do not want to miss it. You want to make sure you get registered. And don't forget, look, coming up in just a couple of days, we're going to be going from $99 to $129 for registration, okay? So you've got a couple of days left to make sure that you get in there on that. The biggest, most awesome event of the year. Be there, get registered, make the commitment, and uh, it'll be well worth your time. All righty. Now, now, we told you last month that we had quite a few uh, locations penciled in. Well, we firmed up these. We're still getting some of the actual venue locations, but we do uh, have the city and state that we're going to be holding them in and the individuals that are going to be holding these. So Friday and Saturday, January 31st, February 1st, Charlotte, North Carolina. Friday and Saturday, February 7th and 8th will be Bakersfield, California. Friday and Saturday, February 28th and 29th will be West Palm Beach, Florida. Friday and Saturday, March 13th and 14th will be Austin, Texas. Moving then from Friday and Saturday, March 20th and 21st will be Baltimore, Maryland. Friday and Saturday, April 3rd and 4th will be St. Louis, Missouri. And Friday and Saturday, May 8th and 9th will be Chicago, Illinois. I noticed you, you, you probably noticed there's a couple cities that have popped up there that we haven't gone to before. We have about five more venues in the works for the first half of the year. Um, and we'll be posting those as we solidify those. But see your agent back office. Uh, the Eventbrite sites have already been set up. The registration is available in your agent back office for any of these events. And then we will be updating uh, with exact venue locations. But the times of the meetings, the dates of the meetings in city and state, uh, that is where they're going to take place. And I just want to say one other thing. We do have a lot of information. We know the National Convention is the biggest deal, but I'm telling you, if you've never been to a live event, if you've never seen a fast start training, you need to get to a live event in your area, even if you need to travel. We watch people travel from Arkansas to Texas, people from Washington State travel to California. We saw people travel from Georgia all the way up to Virginia. If you really have the intention of making this business a success, commit yourself to at least getting to one live meeting. That's where the rubber really hits the road. The training really comes alive. 
and you have the opportunity to mix and mingle with people of like kind of mind, meet some of the corporate executives and some of our top trainers and top performers in the field. So make sure you put it on your calendar to make at least one of these Agent Fast Start meetings. We, uh, you know, we just to uh, add on to that, Mac. Look, we we really do expect for these meetings. We've had great turnouts uh, last year; they were phenomenal. But you know, they'll they'll be at least another forty to fifty percent bigger than what they were last year in the areas that we're going back to. Yep. We're excited about the new areas that we're going to. There's going to be even more new areas we go to. So be sure that you look at the look at the calendar. Be prepared. Get your people there. Get registered. Uh, and like Max said, listen, there is, there's nothing that can help you more in your business and launching it and getting it to take off than being at a live event. Can't miss it. All right, so just to start things off here, uh, maintenance requirements, we just want to remind people moving into uh, 2020 that ED and above is 5,000 in branch volume in any three consecutive months or the current month plus two previous concurrent months. ED or above must have one personal sale to qualify, and the split sale qualifies as one half of a sale. These are your maintenance requirements to maintain your uh, executive director status. Managing director and below, your maintenance requirements are one sale or two recruits in any previous three consecutive months or the current month plus the two previous months. So wanted to make sure we had that out there that you all see that and moving forward into 2020. Uh, blog Talk Radio, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 noon. It's everything UFF, opportunity, success story, what's working, testimonials, uh, maybe issues that uh, agents are, uh, you know, difficult analysis, difficult clients, how do we deal with them, how do we uh, poise ourselves, Definitely, if you can't make a live one, go in and listen to the recordings. But if you can make a live show, I'm telling you, I've been on Blog Talk Radio. I love what they do. 646-787-8176. And that's blogtalkradio.com forward slash worth agents. Make the time to get on one of those calls. Agent Fast starts starting off, starting off the year. We want to make sure we go through this. I know a lot of you have seen this. And this is nothing to really balk at. I mean, 321 to senior associate, this is your first level in the first 45 days. If you do three personal recruits, two field training sales, plus one personal sale, then you'll be uh, promoted directly to senior associate. And you can see that that's an uh, increase of about $110 in your uh, pay on an average $3,500 deal. Now, regularly, you need $15,000 in volume, and $5,000 of that volume needs to be personal. With 321 to senior associate, you do $3,000 split sale volume plus $3,000 personal, and you are there. So what a great way to move up into your first, uh, your first level of rank from agent to senior associate. Now, where everybody's trying to get is road to executive director. And this, you know, doing that senior, uh, 321 to senior associate just gets you another step closer to that executive director. In any three months, if you do 75,000 total volume, 30,000 of that is personal volume, we will promote you directly to executive director. And as you can see, that's an increase now of about $650. That would be your override on a $3,500 deal if you had an associate in your ranks and you are an executive director. Um, these Fast Start promos are nothing to balk about. And I'm just going to let Steve speak a little bit about why it's so important that you take advantage of these Fast Starts. You know, one of the things that you're always, you're always working on and you're trying to build a new, with yourself and with your organization is momentum. Momentum just counts for everything that you're trying to accomplish to get to the next level, to get to the next position, so you can get yourself that uh, additional income, so you can get that additional override uh, to build your income solid and strong. You know, our first level of true executive position is called an executive director, and this gives you an opportunity to skip a lot of levels, jump up in there, get the momentum going. Now you've got things really moving. you got, you got your recruiting moving. you got your sales moving. You're probably a trainer, uh, a certified trainer. you really got everything moving, and now you're at that executive director where you're making the big income, you're making the big spread, the big overrides, and building a real significant organization. 
So get the momentum going, get all fast, and use this program as something to start that. All right, so December rank promotions. This is something that we want to start doing. Uh, we haven't determined if we're going to do it weekly or do it monthly, but probably will be a monthly deal. And uh, I do want to let you know, to everyone that's being recognized, uh, you will receive a certificate in the mail. And for uh, individuals that have achieved executive director or above, you will receive a plaque in the mail because DD is your first level of management. Right. right. But we don't want to ignore the people that have made that first step from associate to senior associate. So we're very proud of your performance. And you all, everyone on this list, you've hit a huge benchmark. And, and we just want you to understand that. So first off, we have Mr. Paul Seagraves as a senior associate. Congratulations, Paul. We have Lindy Sweeney as a senior associate. We have Michael Moralesia as a senior associate. We have Kong Vet Do as a senior associate. We have David Goodman as a senior associate. Stephen Croft as a senior associate. And rounding out the senior associates would be Crystal Thomas. For all of you, from Steve and I, congratulations. congratulations. Great job. And you all will be receiving a certificate. Now we're going to go to the next, and I'm going to let Mr. Steve take care of these. Okay. For the December rank promotions, uh, this is to a director. You're really moving up the ranks. You're getting some things going. You've got a few uh, people uh, in your team, and things are going. So we're going to uh, congratulate Austin Little for becoming a director, promotion to a director. Christina Owen as a new director. Jeffrey Altman, congratulations as a new director. So congratulations to our new directors in the company. Jane Lilana Pascal as a senior director. Congratulations, um, Jane. Jeff, uh, Jeff H. and Debbie Johnson. Congratulations as a new executive director. Yeah. Great position, great uh, promotion. Excited about that. Excited about you becoming uh, top leadership in the company. Thomas Bowman. Thomas, Tom has done some great things. We've heard a lot of awesome things about you, Tom, and how you're out there working hard, a new executive director. Jeff Wardell, who you'll hear from on the call tonight. Uh, and I'll say a few things about Jeff. I've known him for a while. But Jeff has been out there doing some training. He's working with his people, got his team moving. Uh, congratulations, Jeff, new executive director. And Dave Weiner, another good friend of mine, a guy I've known for probably 25 years or so. Dave, uh, you and Tina are doing a fantastic job there in St. Louis and all over the country. Congratulations about becoming a new senior executive director. Great promotion, exciting, uh, doing some wonderful things. So congratulations, everybody. Big, big promotions. All right, so now we want to recognize the top performers. And uh, we, we just want you to know recognition to us is a really big deal. And, you know, we've had some phone calls. People have called in and said, Mac, Steve, you know, you, you go a little over the top, you know, sometimes. Maybe it sounds a little too MLM. You know, my feeling on that is when you're recognizing people, I don't think you can go over the top, can you? No, I'll tell you what, you know, there's a, as I've said before, there's a lot of everything in our business. And recognition is everything, Maybe making people feel good, recognizing their, for the hard work they've done and the things that they've accomplished. There's nothing like it. And so we want you to know that what we're getting ready to show you now is top performers in different categories by volume. Uh, this is not paychecks, income. This is by their volume, okay? So the first is going to be the top five in personal sales. And at number five, we have Mr. Ray Hing at $13,964. At number four, we have Mr. Stephen Cross at $16,900. At number three, we have Thomas Bowman at $16,971. At number two, we have Mr. Jeff Wardell at $17,303. And rounding out the top, we have Mr. Richard Schaefer at $27,387. Congratulations to every one of you all out there. Good job. Now we're going to do another category, and we're going to give this one over to Steve. You know, and if I just might say something, I know a lot of people uh, were doing this, but if I might just say this because I know this personally, I know I was getting texts and phone calls 11, 30, 12 o'clock my time, which was 3 o'clock in the morning out on the East Coast from Rich. 
and uh, Greg out there doing things, knocking it out on uh, New Year's Eve, folks. They were working late into the night on New Year's Eve, getting sales in, getting things done, knocking it out. Rich, you're, you're a phenomenal leader, a phenomenal person. What a great, great job. Congratulations to you as well as all these other people who've done a phenomenal job in the month of December. Okay, top five in base shop sales. We have number five. Here we go, Mr. Jeff Wardell, $45,335 in production. Number four, Dave Weiner, $46,423 in production. Number three, there he is again, Richard Schaefer, $54,583, over $50,000 in production in the month of December. Steve Little, another stud. What a stud this guy is over there in the Fort Worth, uh, Dallas, Texas area. Steve has been a phenomenal producer, phenomenal recruiter and builder, trainer. Uh, $82,674 in production in his base shop. ABC Marketing, over $85,806 in their base shop, doing a phenomenal job. We're proud of all these people. They're setting the pace. A base shop is where it's at, folks. That's a B-A-S-E shop. That is where you build your business. It's where you start to build your income. It's where all of your uh, future executive directors come from, and that's the place. And these guys right here are leading the way and showing people how to do it. So congratulations. Fantastic. Congratulations to everyone that made it in the top five for Boss Base Shop sales. Now we're going to do top Five and base shop to infinity, which basically means your base shop going all the way down to the six generations that we pay. So these are your leaders in this area, and here comes another name. You've seen it before. You're going to see it again. All right. Hey, uh, top five base shop to infinity. Number five, Richard Schaefer with $76,000 in production. Number four, again, Steve Little with over $82,674. This lady is just a powerhouse doing phenomenal things, um, very important to the company. Heidi Keener, over 125000 in production in the month of December. ABC Marketing, again, $319,000 in production. And number one, the incredible Tom Keener with over a half a million, $563,000. $970 of production in his team, on his organization, folks, in the month of December, which the people out there in the sales world say is the toughest month there is. Yep. These people all went out there. Everybody on this list went out, did the extra job, yep. pulled extra hard, and did something phenomenal that nobody else does and did great, huge numbers. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to everybody that was recognized this evening, and thank you for all of your hard work and your dedication. So let's just keep our foot on the gas through 2020. All right, so exciting 2020 kickoff promos. So start your year off strong. Put yourself in a position to qualify for these new exciting promos, and it'll be cash and discounts and awards and all types of things. Drive your business to a new level in 2020. Get in the game and start really pushing to try to hit these promos. So the first thing we want to let you know is the 10% discount on all product sales through the month of January. That's 10% discount for retail purchase, and that's a 10% discount for wholesale purchases. Uh, we will have the discount code posted to the Agent Back office and Support will have that as well where you can access uh, those codes to get your 10% discounts. Now, listen, people, don't balk at a 10% discount. That is a huge amount of money, especially if you're doing a $31, $32, $3,500 deal. We've actually had deals flow through over $4,000 with multiple properties. We've got a couple that have hit up close to five grand, a little bit over. So know that this 10% discount this isn't something you just lay on the table in front of them when you're talking to them and say, hey, by the way, uh, you can get it. This is when you've exhausted all other measures and you're not able to get them hooked or not able to get them moving forward. Your 10% discount is always your last resort. Um, I just want to make sure I'm being very clear about that. All right. So January agent recruiting promo. 
Agent sign-up fee is normally $149. We're going to wipe that out, and we're going to say now through the end of January, the agent sign-up promo is only $99. And I do want to let you all know, if you are an agent or you have an agent that signed up on January 1, we are making this promo retro. So if you have agents that signed up on January 1 through today, uh, make sure that you send an email. You can send it to uh, events. You can send it to uh, Mac at U Financial Freedom. You can send it to Steve at UFinancialFreedom.com. Uh, give us a list of the people, and we will make sure that they get their $50 refund if they signed up on January 1 to today. As of today, though, it is a $99 sign-up fee. And uh, well, folks, again, look, this is this is to get things kicking off for the new year. We wanted to make it exciting. Uh, John and Scott, I really wanted to do some special things to make January uh, and, and 2020 a powerful year. And so this is only for one month. That is it. A one-month promo for this discount to get uh, someone registered as an agent. Uh, with you financial freedom. So be sure you take advantage of it. It will not be extended. Thank you. All right. Fantastic. Thank you for that, Steve. All right. January recruiting promo. I'm going to let Steve take this one. All right. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to roll with the first one. Okay. Look, we've always wanted to do some special things for recruiting because that is, that's our lifeblood. It, it is our business. It's, it's what we're about. Those of you who are just coming on with the company and you're new, uh, you know, if you feel that sales is all about what we're about, it's not. Though you have to make sales to make money, that is the end result, there's no doubt. But how do you stay in a warm market? How do you build a team? How do you get overrides? How do you get bigger contracts? How do you get into the bonus pools? There's only one way that you're going to get into all the bonus pools and make all the, all the ways that there are to make income at the company, and that's to recruit. If you don't recruit, then your business is dying. Yeah. So it is, it is the focus of everything that we do. So we wanted to make some special things uh, for this month. If you go out and you get three new recruits, personal recruits, okay, you're going to get a very nice U Financial branded polo shirt, one of those very nice ones uh, that a lot of people come up to me and say, man, I love that shirt. I'd love to have one. So we're going to send that out to you if you get three new recruits. If you get five new recruits, you're doing something really special. I mean, you're going out there, you're working hard, you're, you're understanding what recruiting's about. You get five new recruits by the end of the month, you're going to get a U Financial Polo shirt and a Swiss backpack. Two great items and merch that you'll be able to go around and brag about. Look what I did, look what I got from the company. Uh, great merchandise to, to brand yourself. If you get eight new recruits, Eight new recruits, everyone that gets eight new recruits now, not just the top, but everyone gets eight new recruits, admission for September National Convention is waived. The admission for September's National Convention is waived if you get eight new recruits. If you are an unbelievable recruiter and you are out there just knocking it down every day and you get at least ten new recruits, you're going to get a U Financial Polo shirt, and admission for the September National Convention waived. You're going to get both of those things happen for you. So, folks, we really want to make a big deal out of that, promote it this month. Recruiting is the key to our business. So we'll be promoting these more and more. Go to your back office. You'll be seeing advertisements about it coming out more and more. So uh, be sure you do this through the month of January. And I want to make sure that we're being very clear that this is anybody from agent all the way up. From agent all the way up. If you're an agent and you do three recruits, you get the polo. If you do five, you get the polo in the backpack. Eight, ten, this is for everybody. Now, we do have one last thing we want to throw in there, and that's a, a raffle. So let me, let me show you how this raffle is going to play out. All agents that sign up a minimum of ten recruits in January will qualify with 10, 10 name entries for the raffle, okay? If you do 11 recruits, you get 11 name entries. If you do 12 recruits, you get 12 name entries and so on. Third place on this, 
will be a 65-inch Samsung flat-screen TV. If you are picked as second place, you will get an Apple iPro. And if you are picked as the first place prize winner, a Microsoft Surface Book laptop or Apple MacBook Air laptop. Now listen, people, this is something that you need to get moving on. We wanted to make this encouraging to everyone in the field. And that's why we're doing this as a raffle. So you can already get prizes in the first that, that you don't go to the raffle. But when it comes down to these three big prizes, and as I think you can see, these are some good prizes, uh, this will be done in the manner of a raffle. So we want you all to keep going. Recruiting is the lifeblood of our business. We need you to get out there, talk to people, and try to hit these. And uh, let's see who the winner is. By the way, we had a December promo that was a raffle for a personal producer pool. And we will be doing the drawing for that raffle on next week's Tuesday night call. So I just want to make sure you're clear that December's raffle, we will be doing the drawing next Tuesday night. And this raffle will run through the month of January once all the deals are in, everything, the recruiting numbers are in. Then moving into February, the first or second week of February, we'll do the raffle drawing for this January contest. All right, so United Financial Freedom, we wanted to have you hear from the top leaders in the field. We wanted you to hear from people that are out there making it happen and people that are getting things done. Now, I could tell you right now, Steve Smith knows most of these people on uh, you know a first-name basis, actually has worked with a lot of these people as well. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring one of these gentlemen on. And who we are going to be hearing from first is going to be Mr. Jeff and Lori Wardell. And Steve, while I'm unmuting him, you want to say a couple kind words about the gentleman? You bet. Uh, I've, known, I've known Jeff now for probably, I'm going to say, close to six years now. And I had the opportunity for several years to work on a daily basis with him. Uh, Jeff is one of the most energetic, outgoing people that you'll ever meet, has a tremendous positive attitude about things, about life, about business, about people. Uh, he always provides leadership to his team. He believes in training. He believes getting out there and let's go, let's go do it first. Uh, and, and he, uh, one of the best guys I know at recognition, which is a major, major part of any organization. And uh, Jeff and Lori have done some phenomenal things in business, and uh, I've seen them uh, really help their people to make money and become successful. And that's exactly what they've done at United Financial Freedom. They have helped their team and their people become successful in making money, and they're making money at the same time. So, Jeff, we're going to turn the time over to you for three to five minutes to tell us some great things that you're doing and, and uh, how you're feeling about UFF. Jeff, can you unmute well, yourself, Steve. my friend? Uh, yeah, can you guys hear me okay? I am yeah, here. Yeah, we got you. Great. All right, very cool. Um, it's your Steve, time. Remind me, hey, remind me to send you that 20 bucks. That was a great introduction. Thanks. Uh, um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say in three minutes, everybody. <laughs> um, we got a big deal in front of us. And what I mean by big deal, at least for me, uh, I fell into financial services uh, 31 years ago. Uh, and in the last three decades, my whole focus and push or drive has been to help people retire with dignity. And in the last 30 years, uh, I've been blessed to be a part of helping three people retire with dignity. You can count the people I've helped to retire with dignity on one hand, on three fingers. And you would think that'd be one a decade, I'd be a failure. I, well, I've helped as many people as I can, thousands of people in 30 years. But the challenge is, is that people can't sufficiently save money. I'm trying to help them save money, 100 bucks, 200 bucks a month, but you can't retire on that. So here are the numbers that I've found uh, and when you can identify a problem and then bring a solution to a problem, you can change the world. And so here are the problems, is that 
percent of retirees today will outlive their income. There's too much life at the end of our money. Why? Well, that's because 80% of adults have debt. And here was one, a zinger for me. 80% of women will be 100% responsible for their finances during their lifetime. Let me say that one again. Uh, we have a team in Detroit, Michigan, the single mother capital of the country. 80% of women will be 100% responsible for their finances during their lifetime. Because of that and because 80% of adults have debt, 80% of retirees outlive their money. And so to fix the problem, what I've been trying to work on for three decades is help people retire with dignity. We've got to address the debt problem. And if they can't afford this program, then they need to go to work with us to help supplement their income. And that's where we can help those single moms is bring their financial ends together by helping people erase some of that debt so that they can retire with dignity. And so moving forward, okay, that sounds great. That's the problem. We've got the solution. So now what? Remember K-I-S-S. -S. And we're all taught as younger people, at least I was, that stands for keep it simple, stupid. I've learned something important. People don't like being called stupid. It's keep it short and simple. Keep it short and simple. So when I go out and we're talking to our people, our team, we tell them, have something simple to say. Create an if this, then that question. And so here's the question we're telling our people to say. If we can show you how to pay your bills off in half the time, would you like to have a free analysis? And people are going to say, well, what is it? It's a free analysis. Well, how does it work? I don't know. You need a free analysis. Well, what, what is this? It's a free analysis to pay your bills off in half the time. Would you like a free? People like free. And you stick with just that. Then you get them on the phone with, your, with the trainer. And the free analysis identifies everything else. And when I run the analysis, we teach our people to ask three closing questions. And this was key to, again, keep it short and simple. So there's the three closing questions where, one, when you get to the summary, you put in all the data, that's data entry, your debts and your income and bank account, that's simple. But with the summary, what that is, is for the, it's the first time that most people have seen themselves financially naked in front of a mirror. And most people don't like what they're looking at. It's a scary picture. And so that's the first thing. And when they look at their mirror, this is how much longer you're going to be paying on your bills. So we ask them a question right there is if we could shorten that time down, would that be a big deal? Now, we haven't gotten to the report yet. That's just the summary is if we can show you how to reduce that time, would that be a big deal? Well, they say, well, of course it would be. Well, let's find out, shall we? Then we click the report button. And then we go through the report and we take a look at, will this work for you? And does it make financial sense for you? And then if it does, we just ask them, well, here's the next closing question. Just if we could do this for you, would you want it? So the first question, if we could shorten the time down, would that be a big deal? The second question, if we can do this for you, would you want it? Well, of course, those are dumb questions, but you want a yes to that. Then you send them out more if they're brand new, just checking this out. You're going to send them out the videos and some testimonials and stuff and reconvene in a day or two before you get to the live report. Then the live report's like a drone flyby. It's the first time people see their house from the air. This is your finances from the air, and people connect with a drone. Okay, I can see that. That's kind of cool. And so now we're going to do the little mini movie, do the flyby, and we get to the end there. And when it tells them what the price is, then I just say, well, here's what we're going to save you. Here's what the price is. Here's how quickly you'll be out of debt. And so here's the final closing question is, based on everything you have seen, can you think of any reason, anything at all, why you would not want to own this program? Let me say that again. If, again, the largest two-letter word in the English language, if we can do all this for you, everything you've seen, if we can do this for you, can you think of any reason why you would not want to own this program. I didn't ask them, would you like the price? I didn't ask them, do you want to pay the money? I, no. Would you, can you think of any reason why you wouldn't want to own it? Well, of course not. Great. Well, there's three ways you can write them. They bought their program. They got it. There's three ways you can own it. If you have the money room on a credit card, you buy it. If you don't, we get the PayPal relationship. If not, we have company financing. Which of those three 
would work best for you. And we keep it short, we keep it simple with the, with the financial needs analysis that's done. We're helping them now save money and there's, there's bigger pictures down the road and Steve, I know you know all about that, but I don't know how to comp, pull it all together in three or four minutes, but that's the best I can do, Steve. I hope people grab nuggets from that. God bless you and Happy New Year, Steve, and I'll pass it back to you and Mac. Thanks for the time. Hey, Jeff, thank you uh, for taking some time out tonight and sharing that with us. And look, th these are great teaching moments. And look, a guy that's gone out like yourself and really done what you've done over the last two or three months in a really short period of time, th look, people want to know what, what's important? What are those nuggets? So thank you. That was, that was great. That was perfect. So we appreciate your business, appreciate everything that you do, your leadership, and uh, thanks for being on the team. Thanks, Lori. Okay. All right. Our next one is Dave and Tina. And uh, this is another gentleman that Steve just knows uh, excellently. So I'm going to let Steve kind of take over from here while I'm uh, unmuting Dave. I guess, um, you know, I met Dave uh, well over 20 some odd years ago, and uh, I've always known Dave to really be, uh, for a long time, he was a personal salesman, you know, and out there personally doing things. But uh, years ago, Dave turned into a builder, a recruiter, a trainer, a teacher, uh, a leader, and I tell you, I've seen him do some phenomenal, phenomenal things in business. And uh, he really thinks through what he does and how he approaches it. And, uh, you know, just to have Dave and Tina as a part of our team, we're, we're so grateful that they're here, uh, really doing some phenomenal numbers, uh, have jumped up there and done something in November and December, just broke records and helped us help the company to break records. They broke records and doing phenomenal things. So, Dave, if you'll share a little bit with us about uh, what's happening with you and your team and, uh, what UFF means to you and Tina. Go ahead, Dave. David? Can we're you not hear hearing me, you, Dave. Dave. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we, we got, got you now, now, Dave. It's all on you. Okay. Yeah, we were having a little bit of a, a technolo te te tech thing here for a quick second. Everything was crashing here for a second. Uh, I just want to share just a, a quick You're thing. good. You can hear me? Yeah. Yep. I just want to share I just want to share a quick thing like that, that that really resonates with me right now with this program. There's a lot of people in January make New Year's resolutions. Whether it's to get out of debt, to get to phys you know physically fit or financially fit. And gazillions of people will go out there and buy gym memberships and never use it. There will be lots of people that buy memberships, you know, the technology of United Financial Freedom. And then unless we understand that we've got to nudge them to get addicted to opening up that software on a, on a daily basis like I am now, and they get and they and they get used to it, and they go in there and they make those adjustments, and they put their stuff in weekly and daily, and, and really get hooked on it, and understand that our task doesn't end the day we put them into the program; it just begins. That we are really building a practice, and we really get to work with that person going forward. I can't tell you how much of a difference and an impact this has had to me and how I view our future going forward in this project. And I gotta tell you, this is a big part of what we're physically doing going forward inside our, in, inside our financial services firm. Our representatives across the country are having a blast because we are really making a difference. And again, I wanna, th I wanna thank you, Steve and, and Mac and everyone for, you know, going through the, you know, the getting us compliant and making sure that, that we're all on the same page and, and getting us to where I think we're just going to have the most amazing year ever in the history of financial services in 2020. And with that said, I'm going to give it back to you, Steve. But again, thank you so much for uh, allowing us to be a part of this. Thank you, Dave. We really appreciate it and everything that you do, and uh, we appreciate your input. We're going to have a great 2020, and we're looking forward to it. 
All right, Dave, if you would, just uh, go ahead and mute yourself out, and we're going to bring on the next person and really needs no introduction. Many of you know Tom and Sue Keener. Now, this is one uh, set of individuals I've known ever since 2006. Uh, Sue is just a dear heart. Um, Tom is probably the most candid individual I've ever met. But there is a difference between recruiters, sellers, and builders. And uh, what I want to highlight here, and then I'm going to turn the time over to Steve for a little introduction. And Tom, while we're talking about you, you can go ahead and uh, unmute yourself so we can get you on the call. Um, but I have to tell you, this gentleman and his wife have been integral to my success and the success of this company in such a way that it cannot be ignored. A uh, gentleman and lady that I have a great deal of respect and love for, and that would be uh, Tom and Sue Keener. So, Steve? Um, I've known, known Tom and Sue probably for about 28, 29 years now. I uh, might have known Tom a little bit longer. I met Sue probably a year after I met Tom. But uh, Tom and I have been in uh, financial services business together is where we uh, initially met. And uh, we've been in a couple of other ventures together. And I'll tell you, he's just a guy who – really makes great relationships with people. He, he loves people. He likes to be around them. He likes to make them feel good, likes to make them feel special. Uh, and, and that's a part of that, that building concept and the building idea, not just that recruiting part. Uh, and, and that's what separates guys like Tom from other people uh, that just recruit. Uh, he really builds deep-rooted uh, relationships with people and builds trust in, uh, with them. And I don't, I don't know uh, of another person. I know uh, maybe one or two other people that are probably in Tom's category as far as builders are concerned. But uh, he is certainly one of the few, few, few people that understand recruiting and building and building those relationships. He's the top producer in our company, the top recruiter in our company, top builder in our company, top income earner in our company and is doing a phenomenal job. So, Tom, we want to turn some time over to you to share whatever's on your heart. Well, appreciate it, Steve, and thank you, Mac. I appreciate it a whole lot for the introduction and for what you guys are doing. Um, you know, 2020 vision, uh, hearing a lot about it, and golly, who would have thought 2020 would come? I'll turn 65 this year, and I remember when I started working, they said 2020 is when you'd be 65, and that was so far out there. But my gosh, folks, it comes quickly, doesn't it? Hey, um, one thing I'd like to share, there's really two different topics I'd really like to go through, and I've got you know, three to four minutes, maybe five, and we'll be done. Um, you had asked me briefly, what do I owe to success, to what's happening to? And uh, for number one, I feel like we're all blessed and highly favored, favored from the Lord. Um, that would be number one. Number two is, of course, it's, it's success because of our past experiences. There's a price to pay, and I've paid the price in the past. A lot of other people in this line have. Um, you will pay a price, and where we're heading to, I saw this opportunity. My total belief when I was actually given the opportunity by uh, Skylar and John and Mac uh, because they you know, believed in, in my talent, whatever talent that is, and asked me to come back this past June, um, so that would be the second reason for success. And number three, uh, and obviously probably most one of the most important, uh, just as important as one and two, would be many people who felt the same way I, I did and were willing to come back and follow. Um, you know, without the people that we have, and my gosh, I've known Jeff same time that you have Jeff Wardell and uh, Dave Weiner. I know, met him when you did 27, 28 years ago. And, you know, Rich coming on next uh, 13 years ago. So how do you get in those situations? So the, the second thing I'd like to really head up is what I want to share to the people who maybe I don't know or who maybe we're just we just met since June. And maybe you're out there and you're a little weak need and don't really see the vision or, or have the dream yet. Uh, but you got to be a dreamer again. This is a, an opportunity it's not MLM. It's not one of those deals. This is a phenomenal opportunity, and you got to be a dreamer again. you got to believe about this, that it's going to happen. Uh, on our certified field trainer call the other night, I shared, uh, I really anticipate we'll have 600 certified field trainers on our team by December, and we'll have a minimum of 150 people making 50000 or more uh, just on our team alone. I, I just know that 
I look, this is our first rodeo, Steve. You know that. We know what happened before. I see what's happening now. Uh, so my question to everybody is this. Is are you personal and financial freedom? Is that worth fighting for? Is your personal and financial freedom worth fighting for? Because that's what you're fighting here for. This isn't a game. This is a game changer. You must have passion. You must have belief in what we and you are doing. If you don't believe in it, um, <laughs> it isn't going to work for you. You got to know that it's here for you. There's a price to pay both for winning. And if you don't pay that price, guess what? That price was paid to you for losing. So you're going to pay a price, pay it to win. I want you to know you got to be able to sell the crusade. What is the crusade here? The crusade here is to correct an injustice. And that injustice out there is the banks. And you have to understand number two is that the debt of everybody, the enemy is debt. You've got banks you're fighting against and you've got to fight against the enemy. And that enemy is, is personal debt. Treat everyone good. And I've been fortunate over the years to have people, look, we all make mistakes. And there's times I can't remember what I did last year, last month. And I'm sure I've offended some people in my life, but I, I try to live by that, by that motto of not screwing people, not taking advantage of people, you know, being good to people. All right. And uh, that goes a long way. Build strong personal relationships. Another very important thing. And I take pride in that. And boy, I, I just get, you know, I get emotional a lot of times about seeing the growth in people. That means so much more to me than the amount of money that I'm making. Although, you know, it's nice to make money and we're going to do really well. Um, but seeing other people make money and their own personal growth and promotions is fantastic. But how do you get in those situations, friends? It's best to work in the warm market. If you don't have a warm market, go create one. Go find one. But don't do something where you constantly are in a cold market and you love being in a cold market. Once you find somebody from the cold market that has a market, work that market with them. That's what you want. You'll have a hot, much higher six level of success working with credibility and with influence of other people. So that's very, very important. So, Steve, I just I listened today, and boy, I told uh, Dr. Chris Heath today, he did the blog talk, and I'm going to encourage everybody out there, please go listen to blog talk. Listen to the recordings, uh, blogtalkradio.com forward slash UFF. I happen to be listening to him today, and I try to listen to every Tuesday, whether it's live or recorded, I will do it. And he just knocked it out of the ballpark today. And I told Chris after the call, it's sort of like having a child and just being a parent and just being so proud of the parents once they achieve in life and become good citizens and, and good adults. And that's how I feel about, you know, the leaders that we have in this company growing up behind us and, and doing and replacing, you know, all us old farts. And I, I really mean that. I, I told you guys when I got out there, I just want to produce others, help them grow, help them become financially successful. And folks, uh, Chris Heave is one of those, the first person I brought back in this company the second time around. And uh, he's now an executive director doing a fantastic job. But folks, you have to learn to recognize, promote, believe in other people, even sometimes uh, when maybe they don't believe in themselves or maybe sometimes your knees get a little wobbly. You got to believe in other people because what good in life is there if you don't have other people to come along with you? So, guys and gals, uh, it is back to you all. Thank you for your time. Hey, Tom. Thanks. We appreciate your your input and uh, everything that you do and your leadership and the person that you are. And uh, you and Sue are very special people. Okay, our last uh, last speaker for this evening. We wanted you. We wanted everyone to hear from the top producers from December. We really did something. Went out there and stretched it. There's nobody. Um, and look, I'm not going to take any credit away. So please don't be offended uh, because uh, I could say a lot of people's names that that really did stretch and really worked hard. Uh, uh, you know, last month. But this guy, I know for a fact, gave it gave it his all. Uh, he and uh, his partner Greg McCullough, business partner Greg McCullough. 
just did a phenomenal, phenomenal, gave it, look, you know, when you, I love to watch football, and when they all talk about leaving it out on the field, look, this guy left it out on the field. He left it all out there, and uh, such a stud, such a leader, incredible speaker. For you to not come to an event and not hear Richard Schaefer, uh, you've lost uh, an opportunity to hear someone to truly help you build a business and know what they're talking about and to know how to recruit and uh, deal with other people. So uh, I'd like to turn the time over now to my good friend, Richard Schaefer. Thank you, Steve. I, I very much appreciate that uh, kind welcome and obviously all the other speakers had so much great content. And just, I'll keep this short, obviously we're on a limited amount of time, but you know, there's a lot of things you could say. It's a, it's a pretty extraordinary topic, but I, I'll, I'll hit on one point first. Obviously, as you mentioned, uh, you know, there's no way in the world that I could do what I do the way that we do it without an extraordinary partner. Uh, my business partner, Greg, is an extraordinary person. I mean, we're such great compliments. We have uniquely different skill sets. There's no way I could be around traveling around the country without somebody that really is capable of, of accommodating the things that go on often behind the scenes. And sometimes they're the unsung heroes. Uh, but having gone back 13 years in this uh, business, like you said, it's it's not our first mirror around. Uh, we knew exactly what to expect. And and oddly enough, it sounds strange, and perhaps it's not the, the right thing to say, but sometimes it's a curse and a blessing to know what to expect, right? Uh, sometimes having children as daunting as it is, it's better that we didn't know how much work it would be, right? And uh, sometimes business, you know what to do, but you also know exactly what that requires. And I think there's something powerful in that statement that uh, – you know, everybody wants to go to heaven and nobody wants to die. And I think it's really coming to that point where at some juncture, and Tom alluded to this a minute ago, I thought it was powerful, and I, I can be humble enough to say I didn't really truly ever understand this until I became a father. And my daughter will be 10 this month, and she's an absolute extraordinary superstar. I'm lucky to be her father. But one of the things you come to appreciate is that maybe the first time around in your life when you're trying to accomplish something, you do it to prove to yourself that you can do it. Uh, many, many years ago, I, I ran my first marathon. It was always kind of a goal that I had. And I did it to prove to myself, perhaps, that I could do it. And then you do it to accomplish a certain time or whatever. And I think that happens a lot of areas of our life. You know, sometimes we think, you know, we're doing things to impress other people or, or for recognition and so forth. And those things are all good. But I'll be honest, you know, at this stage of life, uh, you start looking at things differently. And you start thinking a little bit about legacy and contribution and significance. And it begins to shift from uh, not that you don't like the validation, not that the recognition it doesn't feel good in the moment and so forth, and it certainly does. But as Tom alluded to, you start realizing the greater benefit comes from being able to actually uh, look towards the success of other people and so forth. And uh, that makes it powerful. And I, and I think just the ability uh, to see others succeed and achieve, I mean, you know, we couldn't have did what we did without – Pete Abraham, you know, out in California, it was texting me at the end of the night as well, trying to get a couple of sales in. And uh, Tom Bowman is our superstar right now. I mean, he, we literally had sales going in at 10, 11 o'clock at night on New Year's Eve. And, and that's a special sort of feeling that, honestly, I haven't had the ability uh, to experience in a very long time. And I, I think Steve and Tom and a lot of others can relate to that. And so I'll kind of leave you with these two points. I think first, I've said this before in live trainings. It's probably the first time I've said this on a call like this, but I, I, I'm repeating something said by the greatest mentor I ever had in my professional career, but I just don't believe you get an unlimited amount of opportunities to do something special, maybe even great. And when you do, you have to take hold of it. And there's so many people that have had disappointments in their life personally and professionally, and we've been beat up so much that we just don't want to endure it again. But there really is still time enough for us to become everything we ever wanted to be and, you know, age is just a number, and I think sometimes we get caught up in the disappointments and the failures of the past, and it really gets in the way. And I think it comes down to the baseline idea that what we do here at this company is incredible and extraordinary, but respectfully it doesn't have, it doesn't have a darn thing to do with software. It's really about providing hope and opportunity. And that's not just a bunch of talk, but 30 years in the financial service industry, I was never able to do anything that created the same sort of genuine sense of hope and optimism that what we do here. Most other things in the financial industry are abstract. People can't really relate to the idea that they might accumulate X amount of dollars in the future, or God forbid they'll have the adequate amount of protection if they were to die prematurely. But everybody can experience and understand and relate to the pain associated with having 
debt service and being a slave to having to pay back these debts. They get those bills every single month. They see those balances every single month. It's real. Anybody that's over the 18, 10 years of 18 years old can relate to that experience. And so the fact that we can actually come into their life and create that sort of potential relief is absolutely phenomenal. And the fact that we can create this fundamental paradigm shift, even alluding to what Jeff said, that every January 1st, it's fitness and finance, right? People want to lose weight, get in shape, save money and get out of debt. But none of those things happen. None of those goals are realized if we can't eliminate this absolute stranglehold that debt has become. And unfortunately, we've become such a great marketing-minded country that we've succumbed to it. And we really need to be part of that change. And I think it's our opportunity, our responsibility truly to be a, a cause in the matter and be part of this movement, really this mission, this crusade, as Mac and many others of us have said, to really take back and buy back America one family at a time. And it's certainly a privilege and honestly an honor to be a part of it. And we were thankful that we could do a good job to be part of leadership and, and set a good example, showing that you don't have to wave the white flag from Thanksgiving to New Year's. And then sometimes I think it's not the clients that are putting us off. I think it's ourselves. And really being unyielding and unwilling to wave that white flag and leading from the front uh, and showing that leadership ability uh, your team often wants to follow. And, and uh, I think that's a great statement because people, nobody wants to follow, but everybody wants to be led. And I think it's certainly a great example. We have great leadership with Mac and with Steve and Tom and obviously Matt, uh, Skylar and John, and we're really part of something special and uh, it's a privilege to be here. And we look forward to doing a lot of great things with many of you on this call and many of you throughout the country in the future. Thanks, Rich. We appreciate uh, appreciate those words of wisdom, and uh, you always have some great things to say and appreciate what you've added to this meeting tonight. And I just wanted to say something. You know, Richard, I've known Richard uh, for a long time as well. I was, I was trying to navigate to get him on the call. Um, but what a true-to-life individual. I can tell you with Rich Schaefer, what you see is what you get. That is a man that speaks directly. He speaks honestly. And uh, all of uh, these people that I know personally, I, I consider it a true pleasure and a privilege to have been graced by not only being in business with them, uh, but being their friend as well and being able to call them friends. And with that having been said, uh, the next two gentlemen you're going to hear from are Skylar Whitman and John Washenko. Uh I met Skylar Whitman and John Washenko back in 2001. I've been with these guys now. We're getting ready to go into our 20th year, which is just, it's mind-boggling to me. Um, when I met them, they were very young, very young. They were in their 20s, I believe. I was in my 40s. And um, they saw something in me, and they gave me an opportunity. And for that, I will always be grateful. I never would have seen myself sitting where I am sitting today. Um, so... With that having been said, I'd like to uh, welcome Skylar Whitman, co-founder, and uh, just share whatever's on your heart, Skylar. Well, thank you so much, Matt. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Well, Matt, uh, thank you yeah. so much, man. I, I really okay. <laughs> I really appreciate your kind words and. Um, you know, like Max said, we have got a long history together, and uh, but we've got a long future ahead of us here. So that's that's the super exciting part. And also, I just want to tell uh, uh, Tom and Dave, Rich and Jeff, thank you so much for joining us on the call tonight, for your words of wisdom, and for all that you guys do. Sincerely, we want to thank you for everything that you guys do to help move this uh, this. You know, the the goal that we all have of helping people to be able to get out of debt and build wealth to, and, bottom line, improve their financial situation. Um, there is uh, something that is really exciting to me. This is just something that drives me. And I'm going to try and go through this as quickly as, as we can. I realize we have run past the hour. I do apologize. Um, just a few quick words. One thing that's so exciting to me with what we're trying to do together as a team. And when I say a team, I'm not just talking about the home office. I'm talking about the field, the home office, everybody who's involved in making this happen, helping people to be able to get out of debt and to get ahead financially. One thing that's so exciting to me is just a few short months ago, uh, just I think maybe a couple months ago, we hit 
the $2 billion mark in debt elimination, which I feel is absolutely, unbelievably awesome. But just since we hit that $2 billion mark in debt elimination, we all together, when I say we, the field, the home office, all of us that are working together to help people to be able to get out of debt and get ahead financially have helped consumers to already hit an additional $29 million in debt elimination with the help of the Money Max account program. To me, that is huge. In just a few short months, $29 million more in debt has been eliminated that will not have to be paid. It's gone. That is debt. That is a lead weight that is taken off the shoulders of consumers that they don't have to worry about anymore. And so that, to me, is where the tire hits the pavement. We are all working together, locking arms, going forward with the goal in a crusade to be able to help people to be able to get out of debt, but it doesn't just end there. Another part of this that's so exciting to me is that it's not just about debt elimination anymore. That's what it was in the you first days, but it's now about helping people to be able to create wealth as well. So I'll just close in saying 2020 is going to be our biggest year yet. And when I say our biggest year yet, I'm not talking about just in revenues that come in and commissions that are paid out and all of those things because that is going to come. That, that's going to be a part of this year. I think it's going to be a record-setting year for that. But the part that I'm talking about and referring to is this is the year where we are going to be able to help people to be able to pay off a record amount of debt in a year's time and build wealth. We'll also be able to help people to be able to build wealth in record time. So I'm just so excited. Uh, last, I'd just like to uh, say thank you so much to all of the leaders and all of you in the field that are working so hard, uh, you know, dedicating your time and giving up uh, time that you could be doing other things to be able to help people to be able to get out of debt, to be able to, uh, you know, build a better financial future. And... There's just so much more to come in 2020. There are so many things behind the scenes that we're working on right now that you have no idea about, but just know throughout this year, you will know we'll be expanding more and more, and it's just an exciting time to be a part of the business. So thank you, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and turn the time over to Mr. John Wyshenko, and uh, we uh, are just grateful to be able to work with each one of you and uh, hope to talk to you soon and see you at some live events. John? Hey, thank you, Skyler. Um, you know, uh, man, today or this year or last year, 2019, just has been an absolute joy and a ride. Like, you just can't believe. I mean, just so exciting. I just want to thank the Lord for helping us to build this product and bring hope and light to a suffocating dark hole that we call a 30-year fixed mortgage. And people are just tricked into thinking that that's freedom. You know, when I think about, you know, what everybody's gone through and said, what we're selling is we're selling hope. Man, we, we're selling light at the end of a tunnel and a crusade of hope. And that's what we're all about and bringing to, bringing to our friends and neighbors and family and uh, fellow Americans all across the country. You know, 90 plus percent of all Americans live the refinance dream, meaning they refinance every five to seven years and then pass that on. And that refinance is what they look forward to, to lowering their monthly payment or they think that's what they're looking forward to. But we just totally reverse that. Instead of refinancing every five to seven years, we help them to pay it off in five to seven years. Maybe turn it into a 12, 12 year payoff, but you know, most of our clients are able to pay off their homes in five to seven years. So we turn that from a refinance every five to seven years to a payoff every five to seven years. You know, we're, we're going to help somebody knock out that mortgage. And man, what a difference that's going to make. You are breaking through the mental conditioning, that conditioning that we've been brought up and conditioned to believe that we will live and die in debt. I don't know about you, but, man, that just makes me sick. I just can't even stomach that thought. And that is why we have 
stayed in this, why we have pushed through this so hard, because we believe that that is not right. That is something that needs to change. And we are going to change that through this crusade to bring light and hope to people. And that's what we're about. And we're going to break this status quo that America has been on and been thinking that, you know what, that's just the way life is. Together we can bring that change. And we're doing that through helping them manage their cash flow. I mean, it's so amazing to me at how many times we go through and run a savings report, run an analysis, and show somebody what their true financial potential is. Most of the time, they're blown away. They can't believe the numbers that are in front of them. And we have to end up proving that it can be paid off in that amount of time. And that is just so exciting to bring that hope and light to those people, paying, helping helping them to manage their cash flow, pay off their debt in regular time, and then setting them up for life, building wealth. We've got so many financial planners that have come on with us and financial advisors, and basically we're helping them to bring that client. And, and I feel like that is the absolute first and most, and most important part is helping them to manage their cash flow, seeing where everything's going. And then that debt that's just kind of suffocating them, if you can all of a sudden get a hold of those two pieces, we can all of a sudden help them to build wealth like never before and bring prosperity and freedom, true freedom and from bondage and financial captivity uh, to our friends and family and neighbors. Um, you know, one thing that I just wanted to touch on is we've been hiring and we've been uh, building in IT and support and we bring on support managers and quality control managers. We're putting in bonus systems for customer service. We're setting up on social media, SEO and web presence. We're doing all these things to help us build and have an amazing and bright 2020. We we have already started building our next version, version 6, and it will go through and polish up version 5 and blow it away. I mean, I see our future so bright, and I'm so excited about this coming year, and I'm so thankful that you have jumped into this crusade and this cause to help bring financial freedom to your your fellow countrymen, your neighbors, your friends and family. So I just want to thank you for joining us on this call and say God bless. Mac, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to you. Thank you, John. Uh, for Skylar and John, thank you both uh, just for the wonderful opportunity and, and being the the individuals that you are and the, the ethics and morality that you bring to the table. Um, I'm going to keep my comments very short, and I think you all know where my heart is. Uh, I know we can have a phenomenal year. I've, I've seen this before. We can have the best year we've ever had. But I want everyone out there to remember the heart of a servant. I want you to remember to do the best for other people. And I will promise you this. If you give people what they need, what they want, you will get back more than you could ever possibly hope for. Uh, I give praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's for me. Um, and I am just thankful that I am in the position I'm in and that the Lord has smiled on me and that we are poised to absolutely destroy 2020. It will be the best year we have ever had. We will hit benchmarks. We will break records. And we will not be ignored in 2020. Hey, everybody, just uh, keep this brief. Look, thanks for everyone who's gotten on here and, and added some wisdom to this call and uh, for the things that we've gone over. 2020 is absolutely going to be a phenomenal year. Uh, Tom, I think you said some great things about developing friends. You know, when you were talking about Chris, it really got to my heart about how we develop these friends and relationships with people, and we're just more than a business. We're, we're much, much more than that. But this is going to be an exciting, exciting year. Uh, I am also feel a great obligation to John and Skyler for giving me this opportunity to work for this great company and uh, to be a part of uh, developing many friendships all across the country. 
This is going to be a phenomenal time. We're going to have a great time. Get to these events this year. We're going to make this uh, convention something that will absolutely blow you away. Thanks for being on the call tonight, everyone. Have a great week and have a great new year. Let's go out there and kick it in gear. Let's get out there and do it big. Let's get out there and do it right. But at the very least, let's get out there and do something right now. This is Mac and Steve saying bye-bye for now. Good night, everybody.